Hello and welcome to another problem solving session on sequences and series and we have been dealing with arithmetic progression problems and specifically the nth problem nth term of an AP problems related to nth term right in this question it said that p -th and q -th and r -th terms of an AP are a b and c respectively and you have to show that this term this expression is zero okay so i hope you understand what is pth term so p and q and r are the indices that is that is the position the term number in you know the location of that particular term correct and abc are you know the the value of the terms right so it's like sixth term seventh term eighth term are 10 9 and 11 something like that so you have to prove this one anyways so uh, assuming that you know or understood the question so how do we solve it Okay, so this is customary thing to, you know, start with a few, you know, terms like, let's say T1 is equal to the first term, first term, and D is equal to common difference, right? The two vital characteristic of an AP, D is common difference, right? Okay, so now if uh, that is so, then uh, we can say that a is equal to t1 plus p minus 1d correct that is how nth term is found out so b is equal to t1 again plus this time q minus 1d and c is equal to t1 plus r minus 1d so if you if you you know uh, have managed to get these three equations let's say 1 2 and 3 then your job is kind of done okay now um let's try and find out q minus r so yep so uh, or yes so you can start from this as well for example a minus b so let's try to find out a minus b so a minus b if you see will be t1 and t1 will get cancelled and d and d also so let me just write so that it becomes easier i will write for one so that it becomes easier for others as well so minus t1 minus qd plus d right so t1 disappears d disappears so it is nothing but d common p minus q p minus qd is a minus b okay so basically guys this is um you know so we you can find out p minus q from here so p minus q is a minus b by d isn't it p minus q and now look at the given expression you need p minus q for sure but you need a c also never mind so we can get a c how just multiply both side both these sides by c so i can do this isn't it so what do i get i get c c times p minus q is equal to ac minus bc upon d right this is let's say four now uh, let's do two minus three so this was simply one minus two let's do two minus three so two minus three will give you what again so i'm not going to repeat the same process so you'll get b minus c is equal to uh, q minus r times d just like here cyclical expression b minus c is q minus r d so q minus r will be b minus c upon d and let's go back to the expression which we wanted we want a times q minus r isn't it so we can multiply both sides by a by a without any problem so a times q minus r is a b minus a c by d this is let's say five okay now here itself let's do three minus one so you would have guessed it by now that's a cyclical process so c minus a would fetch you r minus p times d so again uh, from here we can find out r minus p is equal to c minus a upon d and what term did we want r minus p if you check b is here so i want a b a 
attached attached with it so multiply both sides by b you will get b r minus p is equal to b times c minus a by d fair enough this is 6 right now look closely at 4 5 and 6 and add of the, all of them so if you add you'll get c times p minus q plus a times q minus r plus plus b times r minus p all lhs added together all rhs let's add we had ac minus bc upon d plus ab minus ac upon d plus so this was how much this was if you see this is bc minus ba upon d so plus bc minus ba upon d and my friend if you see this result d is a common denominator and let's write ac minus bc plus ab minus ac plus bc minus ab correct so this ba i have written as ab here right and you see all of them are getting cancelled a b a b b c b c so it is eventually zero and this is what we wanted to prove in such cyclical uh, you know uh, expressions what you need to do is simply find a q minus you could have started with yeah uh, finding q with respect to a and and p with respect to b and c with respect to r and all that but you know cyclical expression there is a difference to try subtracting and we the moment we got you know p minus q we understood the hint we multiplied by the required uh, remaining factor and we got an expression on this c times p minus q and then if one was like that the other two have to be like that it's a cyclic you know, property of cyclic expressions and you figured out all the three separately added together and you got the desired result so uh, one learning is that you need not be you know intimidated by a big expression many a times where there wherever there is a cyclical expression right where you know this and this and this there are three parts where if you keep on replacing a by b b by c and keep on replacing p by q and q by r you get the three terms such cyclical terms you can treat independently and then you see a pattern and get the desired result okay this is what the solution demanded here